G'day gang, well it's been a few weeks. I have been super flat out with work. Uh, did a bunch of stuff and in the last couple of weeks I've been working on two new car launches which has been pretty exciting. Uh, both of which are pretty cool cars, but one especially is an absolute weapon but I can't tell you about that yet. I'll tell you about that a bit later on. Um, Rob has been on a bit of a break. He's been working really hard so he's had a bit of a holiday and uh, he's cruising along with this car. We always said it was going to be just uh, in his own time, you know, when he's Got a few hours here and there, he'll go and do a bit more work on it. So this isn't Rob's normal pace if you're wondering, he's just uh, sort of doing this as a little side project for me. Anyway, we're going to go and uh, check out where he's up to, what he's what he's done. Um, I post up a few pics on the Facebook page so you would have seen a few, a few shots of where he's up to, but we'll go and uh, do some video of it and uh, yeah, check out the next bit. Let's go! All right, we're back here with Rob, and the car is looking very different from the last time we saw it. How's it all going, Rob? It's going pretty good. Uh, yeah, we got the uh, got the door bars in now, and and you said you've decided to change up the design a little bit from what we were yeah. saying. So we were originally going to go with a NASCAR style, sort of you know your big double bars with posts in them. Yep. Um, I changed my mind on that because Matt's got some nice fancy window winders. And yeah. So we wanted to keep them accessible. So basically, that dip there allows for the window winder, but also allows basically ease of getting in and getting out of the car, save having to yeah. try and climb over some massive bars, which is cool. They got some uh, got some funky uh, braces and stuff here. I don't know what any of this is called, but it looks good, Rob. I like it. <laughs> um, so basically, now this is this is the main part, yeah. <coughs> This is, yeah, this is it. Oh, back this up is the up main so part. You can see it all. Um, got a lot of welding to do. So we'll knock that out today, probably. Yep. Um, and then we'll attach it to the car and put, we've got rear legs to go and some gussets. Yep. So at the moment, these uh, these plates here, this is these will be the boxes. They're, yeah, they're just sort of there as hopes and dreams at as, the moment. As guides, yep. So front yep. and back, and then they'll be the boxes that Rob will weld up, and that's where the cage will sit on attached and then to. they'll all be attached but like a lot of these welds are all all done but a lot of these bits up here are just sort of tacked in um just uh, keep it in place and then yeah so we've got to do well i i don't have to do shit i'm just gonna film but rob's <laughs> gonna uh yeah weld all these bits up and get it looking uh get it looking good and then yeah as you said sort of uh rear legs to join up to the strut towers and taxi bar Yep. And yeah, and it's gussets. coming along, hey? How sexy are these roof bars? Hot damn! Hot damn. Let's do some fancy filming, although I bought my slider and I forgot the attachment for it, because I'm an <laughs> idiot. <laughs> We're gonna leave Rob to it because I'm pretty much just slowing him down at this point. Um, but yeah, he's uh, we've he's basically going through and just welding up all this gloriousness here, making it all uh, sexy and joined together and all those things. And over the other side, it's going well, eh, Rob? Bye. <laughs> We're gonna leave him to it. 
<laughs> so he can uh, finish this off and we'll, uh, we'll come back a bit later on when, um, when he's had some more time to do some more stuff and we'll, we'll check it out then. Thanks, Rob. talking about the espresso martini, the use of a lawn lens, and I just pressed the settings button. That's but it's true. okay because the band's about to play. That's ben, that's let's have an interview. Hey guys, well, a uh, bit of a uh, bit of a different thing at the moment. I've the the roll cage is done on the nugget. Um, which is awesome and I can't wait to go and pick it up from Rob. He sent me some photos, it looks so sick. Um, but I'm currently driving around France. I'm uh, helping the guys out at uh, Ultimate Driving Tours, a wicked company I've done some work for before and they're, uh, yeah, this time they, they wanted me not so much to shoot but to basically be a support driver for the um, part of the drive team and uh, help out with the customers. And uh, yeah, so I'm driving a towel car at the moment. I'm in a little E400 Mercedes wagon diesel. It's actually really quick, surprisingly. It's amazing. Um, it's got a heap of body roll though, so once we get around the uh, bottom of Switzerland, around the Alps there, it's gonna be pretty pretty wild in this thing. But um, yeah, so when I get back, I'll we'll pick up the car and we'll keep on going with that. But for now, I'm gonna do a little bit of GoPro. I'll show you some of the cars we're working with here. We've got some of the best supercars in the world. It's pretty cool. I had the privilege of driving the um, the Ferrari 812 Superfast the other day, which is a car you can't buy. Basically, Ferrari has to offer it to you and you have to have owned several Ferraris in the past. So to get behind the wheel of a car like that, that is pretty much impossible to, to drive, is very cool. And that thing is an absolute weapon. 780 odd horsepower um, coming out the rear wheels and it is just, yeah, blisteringly fast. I was following a, uh, an Aventador up the mountain and the Aventador had a two foot blue flame sticking out the back. <laughs> Just bloody wild. Anyway, I'll show you some of the countryside and some of the mountains and I'll uh, and then we'll get back to the nugget. collection of cars. This is purely the lead car. And we have an 812 super fast. That's the Martin DB11. Ventador S. Hurricane Performante. Porsche GT4 S. Porsche GT3 RS. We have the AMG GTR. Over there we have the 488 Spider, and past this guy we have a McLaren 720S. 458 Special, going up in value. Lamborghini Urus. Alrighty guys, sorry about the wind noise. We are currently on the top of a pass, kind of in between uh, Italy and France. We've just come back into France. This place is absolutely amazing. Check this out. Oh yeah, it's pretty cool too. Got all our beasts. Uh, guys are in having a coffee. I'm out guarding the cars. But, uh, check out this view. Absolutely incredible roads as well. So good. Ok 
Okay, we're back in Australia and we're here to pick up uh, the car. I don't even know what time of the day it is. I'm uh, super jet lagged and I just scold about three cans of uh, energy drinks to stay awake. So uh, yeah, I can pretty much smell through time right now. Let's go and get this car. Alrighty, we're here. Hey Rob. Hi. Cool. And check out, we have a roll cage. It looks awesome. Sorry, I'm gonna beat that out. I said a bad word. Looks freaking awesome. Rob has done next level job on this thing, and I am completely stoked. Are you stoked, Rob? I'm stoked. He's stoked. We're all stoked. I'm excited. He's excited. He's big Kev about this. Um, I'm excited. I'm really excited to get this all painted up and and all that jazz. And it's yeah, it's looking freaking awesome. We'll uh, we'll do a bit more um, fancy footage of it once we get it back in the shed. But uh, yeah, looks the works. So not only that, we also have a new exhaust. Rob's used the, uh, the old tip on it, but we've got a, uh, a new exhaust running through a two inch. Put a, just a free flowing muffler on there just to shut it up a bit because we're going to be doing um, events, you know, sand down and little hill climb places and places where they're going to yell at you if you yell at them with a car. So we're going to, uh, we're going to shut, it, shut it up a bit and it'll still flow, it'll still work, it'll still be an angry mosquito, but just uh, less angry. So yeah, pretty cool. Hey Rob, so uh, now the Nugget's out of here, we heard you've got a bit of an exciting project coming up. Yeah. What's going on? Uh, so the next project will be my cousin's VB Commodore. Um, put a little teaser of that on Instagram for start of this year maybe, like end of last year. Nice. Uh, it started off as going to be a street car and now we've just gone full blown race car. So awesome. that rear end. There we go. Which is out of an R33 Skyline. He's going in the back of it. And up the front, we're putting a twin turbo LS1, which will be bonkers. You heard it first, twin turbo LS1. Skid, skid factory style, but better. Oh, I didn't say that. It's going to be really cool. No, it's going to be a really cool build. So what we'll do is we'll, um, yeah, because once this is kind of done, we'll just be doing racing and maintenance and rebuilding videos <laughs> so we'll come down we'll come and see rob oh, and we'll crashed it yeah pretty much <laughs> rob, i need it fixed um yes yeah, so we'll come down we'll check out check out that build because that's going to be really cool um yeah twin turbo ls and a vb with skyline rear end and that sort of stuff that's going to be a freaking awesome thing to see so we'll definitely come down and see about that all righty so the finishing touch rob's going to do on the car before we take it is one of these guys each side RG Customs. What is this? Laser cut? Hydro cut? Water jet. Water jet. cut. And we're going to bend them, bend them round and weld them onto our cross frame there. So when everybody opens the door of the nugget, they know who built this sucker. Load it up, tie it on. Thanks, Rob. No worries. We'll uh, see you in a few weeks to have a look at this Holden, hey? Yep. The Holden Skyline something something hybrid. Yeah. No hybrids. No. Hybrids are poo. Right, hybrids are poo. Yeah. Well, let's go. Yeah. 